What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Ottawa Community Spotlight, where we endeavor to tell the stories and promote the businesses of people who are influencing and making better this amazing city. I'm super excited because with me today is Vivian, a committed Desjardins insurance agent right here in the Glebe. Now, I do also have to put my own mini testimonial in here before we start, because we had moved all of our insurance needs to Vivian a few years ago, and it's definitely saved us a little bit of money. But more importantly, we're in the middle of currently settling an accident claim and Vivian's service has been absolutely incredible and it's something that seems to come so naturally for her and correct me if I'm wrong Vivian but you're actually the third member of the family to specifically work with Desjardins. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah so my father is an agent as well he's been doing it for over 25 years now and I opened my own agency back in 2018. So now I've been open for five years. That's awesome. And going through, you know, a pretty tumultuous five years, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the things that have surprised you the most about starting and actually growing your own agency? What I find most exciting or most interesting is that I love how every day we're helping clients and we're always here for clients in difficult situations like a claim. And I love how I get to build relationships with customers and um, be there every point of their life. When they get when they first buy their own, or when they first rent their own place and then they get married and then they buy a home, I'm there every step of the way and I help them with their insurance process to make sure it's very smooth and um, they understand what they're covered for and that their needs are met. And it's amazing because I know like we've chatted about it. We've had cars, properties, we had our RV insured. Like <laughs> you really do offer pretty much everything. And when you have such a wide breadth of products, like what are some like odd requests that you've seen or things that were like, oh, wait a second, just like funny little moments with client requests? Um, We also do motor homes, boats. Okay motorcycles like not just trailers we do so yeah. much don't do is airplanes <laughs> that would be an interesting one though <laughs> I, I had a client ask me once and unfortunately we don't do them but we do a variety um, we also offer life insurance critical illness um, so we're not just home and auto insurance we also do financial service life insurance as well like it's great being a one-stop shop because it helps clients know that they have one person to trust to handle all of their insurance needs and that way um, that way we're well versed in all the different types of insurance so that we kind of tailor it to the customer. And it's interesting because like we live in such a diverse little like city. There's there's so many age brackets. There's so many different needs. You know, in the Glebe specifically, we have brand new houses and we have very old houses. Yes. Um, and, and when you can offer so much and you're chatting with so many people, um, how do you keep yourself like motivated and engaged to just keep going? Well, I love getting to know clients and getting to know the community. Um, I loved the Glee when I first opened here because everybody was so welcoming and everybody loves supporting everybody, which is very nice mm -hmm. and very rare for a community. Um, and I loved how it's, as you said, there's such a variety. There's older homes, newer homes. So every case is different and we learn every step of the way. And because we've opened for, so long, for a bit of time now, I feel like we're specialized in high value homes, new homes. We got it all in the bag. <laughs> right, right. And it so so what initially made you want to set up in the Glebe specifically? For me, it was because there is not that many insurance agencies in the area. And I mm -hmm. thought it would be a good idea because there are families living here, all different age groups. So there's definitely opportunity in the Glebe to grow. And um, and I liked how everything is walking distance. I could meet with customers that they're nearby. So it's just very convenient. And it shows that we are community based because Desjardins loves to be in, in, in certain communities. So okay. it's just it follows our company values and also um, works well with our business model. That's amazing. And I know that, you know, being stationed in the Glebe, it's such a cool little anomaly of an area. And I think there's a lot of people that come in for all the boutique shops and, you know, there's a couple of gyms and stuff like that. When, when you're, when you're in the area, you know, what are some of your favorite stops? Where do you like to go? Oh, so many. Uh, <laughs> love to support my neighbors. We have the Mona restaurant downstairs, the Mexican right. restaurant, and we love eating, getting their quesadillas. Yep. And uh, we also love our neighbors downstairs, which is the Silver Scissors Salon. Um, they're super nice, and we always say hi when we walk by. 
And because we're so close, um, mm -hmm. there's so many. Um, every Fridays, I treat my team lunch. So we we always support all of the restaurants surrounding us. We even go to the Nicastro Italian Sandwich Shop. We love yeah. their sandwich. And it's so hidden in their back. So we didn't even know for the first few years of opening. But we just started going there maybe the past two years. And we love it. Right. Um, also like to support uh, Three Brothers, the new shawarma shop down the street. They're super friendly and very close to my office. So we love stopping by there. We even go to Kettleman. So honestly, we support every business. Sushi shop. We, we go everywhere in the Glebe. And if there's any new restaurants that you can recommend, we would love to go as well. So, so what you're saying is like Friday afternoons, I need to be like following you guys around yeah. and get a get a free lunch okay sweet <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's so fun like you know you've obviously had you know some really great experiences and you've mentioned a couple of the businesses what do you think is kind of next for the area because we've we've seen so much change in the area and i know you know I'll, I'll joke around like it obviously wasn't a question that i sent you but off the cuff like what have you seen happen in the last five years towards a development of change in the area a lot of change has happened. A lot yeah. of new high rises, condos, retirement homes. It's really evolving. And even all the new business coming in, which is great. It makes the community feel very well rounded on what it can offer. Yeah. Uh, I can see it growing more. Even the building across the street is brand new where the Amica uh, retirement home is. Right. They have of real estate available for lease so i can't wait to see what opens um hopefully more yummy restaurants <laughs> right <laughs> to all the changes and and for people to join our amazing community and that that's super exciting and i guess for for anyone who is either new to the community and you know looking for that initial touch point with an agent or if somebody is at a point where you know, they, they always receive, you know, that little question that makes them motivated for change, right? I think for us, it was a matter of like, we added a car to our household and a mail drop literally came and was like, well, let's, let's try Vivian. She's local. Why do you think it's important to continue to support local businesses around you? I think it's important because uh, in, in our case, if a customer was near us, we'll have a better understanding of their situation, where their new home is, or where their current home is. We're able to tailor the insurance to them. Um, what's good about supporting local is that you feel like it's so close by. You don't have to worry about just a phone call. You can actually meet in person. You right. can also, I can also meet them if, if there's more convenient for them. If they have a claim, I'm able to actually go to their home and actually see what the damage is. So it just makes it a better service overall. Yeah. And I think we've seen so much of the small business mentality really explode in our area. And it's, it's such an, it's a joy to be on bank street, specifically in the Glebe and walking around and seeing so many thriving businesses, you know, even through some pretty tough times over the last few years, <laughs> right? You're local, someone moves into the Glebe, you know, what are some of the points where you see people make a move? Like what are kind of those life stage or trigger points that people really should be aware of that they may need to talk to you. Yeah, for sure. There's many points in life that are changes that should be updated with your insurance. For example, if you move into a place, if you, yeah, we, we help clients right away. If a clients get married or there's other drivers in the household, their children are now able to drive. It needs to be updated to be properly insured. And a lot of people don't know this and they assume insurance companies are just aware automatically. So it must be updated um, um, more frequently than people think. Right. And even when they first have children, people don't think about having life insurance protecting them. And it's important to get it early because the earlier you get, the lower the price because it's based on your age and your current health status. So um, what's good about because we are a one-stop shop, we get clients through their car insurance and we build a relationship when they first rent their home or buy their home. We then pivot to the other pro uh, other policy. And then when they bring us up, when they bring up that they now have kids, I then bring <laughs> life insurance. So I, I kind of guide them every step of the way so that they are protected. And that is not just a phone call. I'm not just a transaction base. I build the relationship with clients. Yeah. And I think like, I think so many people underestimate, we'll call it the value of having, you know, everything within one person, right? Like I know that I can shoot you an email about anything for our insurance package, right? And then that response happens so quickly. When you kind of think about, you know, one year, two year, whatever many years out into the future, what's next for you and your business and, you know, the team that you have? 
Yeah, so for now I have three full-time team members and I'm going to be expanding to have a fourth team member. In the long run, I would like to build a larger team so we can help grow the business and help more people in the community. And we technically offer insurance all over Ontario so we can help more people. And, um, and every team member has different language strengths, so we kind of are able to reach out in many different multicultural dynamics. We have an Indian team member, and we also have an African team member, and a Chinese team member, so we offer a wide range of languages as well. And I think that's, you know, that, that in and of itself is such an uh, amazing asset, because we are continually becoming a more and more diverse, you know, community, but also city as a whole, right, as we get more immigration in. And as people are kind of watching this and, you know, maybe they're like, hey, I want to give Vivian a chance. What's the best way for people to get in touch with you to uh, start out that initial, I guess, consultation, whatever that might be to, to do that review? So we are in the Glebe. So our address is 875 Bank Street, Unit 2. We're upstairs. Um, clients can also give us a call. We have a super easy phone number. Our number is just 613-230-1000. Or you can also go on our website. You can actually do an online quote first, and then we will reach out to help guide you through the quote. Um, but our website is just my name. So vivianyao.ca. Amazing. And, and for ease of access, I'll put all of that information down below in the description. And if you guys are sitting there and you are you have any questions about insurance, as I said, like we're personally clients and I couldn't, I couldn't uh, provide a better testimonial for Vivian. It's been really great. And the fact that she's local and supporting the businesses in the area and the individuals in the area, I give her, give her a call guys. Cause it's something that, you know, at the very least will save you a few bucks. And at the very most, you're going to have a really good ally on your side. So I'm super appreciative of you jumping on to do our little interview. I'm excited that, you know, you have this like really great foundation in our area and, you know, wishing you all the best for years and years to come as, you know, the neighborhood transitions and, you know, hopefully more people watch this and then reach out to you. And we just continue that really tight knit community. Cause that's really what we thrive on in the Glebe. Sounds good. Thank you so much for inviting me, Mike. It's been great. And um, I look forward to seeing you soon. Awesome, Vivian. <laughs> Have a great one.